Welcome to the Guitar Lesson for Awakening by Aurora. And the version I'm basing this on is the Pietre Moen version, which is linked in the description. And I think we should start with a basic rhythm. It's this. One, two, three, four. So if you want to visualize it, it's um, two quarter notes, one dotted eighth note followed by sixteenth notes. And this rhythm is, um, it occurs throughout the song. And this particular version, the, the, the Petre Moen version, is one whole step uh, higher than I guess the studio version. So if you want to play along to the studio version, you just move your capo from the fourth fret to the second. We will start off with intro. And you might hear that rhythm. And what I'm doing with my right hand is I'm palm muting. So I'm just lightly touching the strings. So get instead of and the chords are E minor D with F sharp and bass. G and then well D add 11 maybe add 13 also with A in the bass and th these chords are as if I didn't have a capo or if the capo was the nut so of course that E minor is actually an um, a flat minor, but I'm going to call it an E minor. So that D with A in the bass, it's A, D, F sharp, then open strings. Maybe the high E also. And then a C major 7 with a G in the bass, so that's the same fingering but two frets down. You play those chords three times and then you have the verse. And there you have whole notes. So start off with an E minor 7. That's normal E minor but with that D on the B string. G. The D with A in the bass. And then C major 7 with the G in the bass. Once more. And sorry. And there I'm using the D with F sharp in the bass as a passing chord. So that's. And now when you play those chords two times, you let that last chord ring out for another bar and at the same time you do some percussion on the body of the guitar. And that rhythm is dotted eighth note followed by sixteenth note, quarter note pause uh, or rest and then the same rhythm again. And now for the verse it's, um, well, uh, I guess the second verse. It's the same as before, but this time you have whole notes with some percussion. So that rhythm is just whole notes on the chord, and the rhythm, the percussion rhythm, is quarter note rest, quarter note dotted. 
eighth note, sixteenth note. Two times, and this time you don't have that D with F sharp in a bass as a passing chord. And then after you've done those chords, you once again have another bar, an extension, where you let the previous chord, the C major 7 with the G in the bass, you let that ring out while you do some percussion on the body of the guitar, and this time the rhythm is So it's just like before, uh, on the first verse, when you, where you had But you only do, do those three first beats, so and Then you have the chorus The C major 7, possibly with G in the bass, if you want And then G, possibly with open E string, making it a G6 chord. E minor 7. D, once again, possibly with the open E. Making it a suspended 2 chord. And just do those four chords two times. And then for a bridge, well, I choose to call it a bridge. Uh, it's just for, I guess, four bars. But um, yeah, that one is just being played like the intro. And then you have the third verse. And the third verse is just like the first verse, but without that passing chord. D with F sharp in the bass, and with an extended last chord, but without any percussion, as you had in, I suppose, both, both the first verse and the second verse. Instead, you just keep that rhythm. And then, chorus once again. This time, the duration is double the previous chorus. And you also ease off on the palm muting for the first time uh, in this song, actually. But then you add the palm muting back again for maybe the last two chords of the chorus. So, I guess... Um, lines. So still palm muting but letting some notes ring out more clearly. And then for the second bridge, the one where the same uh, sentence is being repeated over and over again, that one is being played just like verse 2, the one No extended last chord, but instead strumming. So for the last chord, the C major 7 with G in the bass, you don't do. Instead, you do full strumming because when you end up on the chorus, the last chorus, you do full strumming with no, uh, no palm muting at all, but still fairly gentle. You don't do uh, something like that. I said but with the correct chords of course. And the duration of that chorus is like the previous i.e. four times. Uh, and then for the outro, 
you just play whole notes. So that's E minor 7, G, possibly with the open E, the D with A in the bass, and then C major 7 with G in the bass, and that one is being played arpeggio, arpeggiated. So. And then down to the open G string. And that's it for this song. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see you next time.